The ball is rolling on making a busy street in West Chase a little safer for kids playing outside. Yeah, just last month, a little girl riding her bicycle on Royce Drive was hit by a car. Fortunately, she's now doing OK. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is taking action for you. She shows us shows us the changes neighbors started noticing right after reaching out to us. Royce Drive isn't problem free just yet, but Tina Hall says Hillsborough County officials are listening. It was really nice to see the increased attention to the issue. I know that all the residents are greatly concerned about it, not just in our neighborhood, but throughout West Chase. We have a, a big problem with the speeding and illegal parking. Last month, a little girl was hit by a car while riding her bike. Hall fears other kids could get hit too. My kids now are on bikes and scooters, so they're they're more concerning because you know they're traveling around the neighborhood and not a lot of people watching out for them. Monday, Public Works reached out, telling Hall they've opened a service request with its traffic engineering department to begin looking into residential traffic calming measures. We're like, oh, great, okay, yes. <laughs> so it was, it was really great to talk to him, and he was very helpful in explaining the process and very interested in my concerns and that kind of thing. A speed hump like this one is what people are hoping slow people down. Neighbors say they've seen the Hillsborough County Sheriff deputies patrolling out here more, ticketing and citing people for parking too close to stop signs. They say that happened the day after our first story ran on April 24th. We're all really having our fingers crossed that we get something to happen to calm down the traffic in this neighborhood. Public Works says there are certain protocols it must follow before installing anything. Head to abcactionnews.com to get a breakdown of the process. In West Chase, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.